Yeah. Hello, I would like to welcome you to our webinar Forex Trading. Today we want to present you some um, basic information how to get started for Forex Trading um, in the TradeStation Global Platform as well as in the Trader Workstation. So like always for the beginning, just the um, a legal disclaimer that there's no um, investment advice or trading recommendations included in this uh, video. And yeah, if you would like to see more videos, you can follow us on our YouTube channel here or check our website um, for the next upcoming webinars and feel free to contact us if there's anything what you need to know as well. So let's go straight to the TradeStation um, platform. There are many different tools um, for Forex trading. Um, today we want to um, focus on three tools. Uh, what is radar screen, matrix, and um, chart analysis. And especially chart analysis is one um, big uh, benefit of the TradeStation global platform. Uh, if you compare it to the Trader Workstation, you have many different indicators. Um, chart trading is uh, also available. And the chart itself, um, it's um, yeah, it's I think uh, much better to use than uh, what you can use in um, in the Trader Workstation um, platform. So we would like to start with um, the chart trading. So first of all, if you have um, the TSIB default um, uh, workspace open, just click in the chart and activate chart trading. And then you will see on your right the following information. First of all, your account, um, what you see here in the beginning. Um, we are here on the paper trading account, what you can see um, when it starts with a D at the beginning. And um, below this, you can see the quantity. Um, the um, default setting is always um, one lot, what means 100,000. Um, and um, after this, you see the duration. Um, Forex is also yeah, one asset class what makes it possible to do um, day trading for short term or for like smaller accounts. And um, just make sure if you place an order, which should be valid over the um, actual trading day, you should change the duration in GTC because they, um, if the order will be not um executed um, it will be deleted after the end of the day so if you want to make sure that it's uh, valid more than one day then use gtc what uh, gives you the possibility to place an order maximum for 90 days um, or till you cancel it or till it's get filled so gtc good till cancel you should use um, for um yeah orders which should be available um, more than one day in the market. Um, then we have um, very simple eight buttons for buying and selling um, positions, uh, which you see here, place order. And this is uh, where we wanna um, start. Um, the first two buttons, uh, which you see on top, buy, and then you see below a price. This means um, always placing a limit order on the best um, bid price and for sell on the best ask price. So we would um, just place a limit order, a bit smaller, um, and the same for the other size. Um, if you want to sell the position, um, it's also limit order, uh, which you can place here. Um, you will always see the price below. And if you place the order, it should be also um, displayed here in the chart itself. Uh, just click on it and uh, you can later um, change it. Um, if you don't want to wait um, till a limit order gets filled, this fastest way is always buy a market where you um, yeah, accept every price. Um, just be aware there can be a small slippage or depending on the spread, your execution can be a little bit um, away from the latest price. And um, the other two orders what which are here below take and hit means also limit order, but other than the um, buttons on top, take means limit order to the best um, ask and hit a limit order to the best um, bid. Um, yeah, and the color gives you also the information. All what you find on your left is um, 
for buying and all on your right if the red color is uh, for selling. So what we can do, we can place a buy market order and then you can um, yeah, try to set a trailing stop order. What's also very smart, you can do it in points and in percentage. I would always recommend to do it in a percentage uh, so you can define your risk, um, for example, with 0.5% and then later on change it here in um, in the order um, in the chart window itself where you will display uh, where it will display all the orders you set. Um, the next step we will do this now for trailing stop order. Um, just let me change the screen. If I want to invest in a longer period of time, I will just um, change the trailing stop um, on a different time frame. Sometimes if the chart is not loading um, fast enough in the trade station um, application, just try to reduce the days back. So everything will come a little bit faster. Um, so I see, okay, my trading stop is below this, um, the last lows. Um, and the trailing stop, this is the important thing. It will move um, as long as the currency pair is um, going up. So my trading stop will always run behind um, my position or like uh, behind the last price with a distance of 0.5%. Only if it's going down, um, I know I can't risk more than um, what is set now for this um, trailing stop order. So it's a pretty um, good way to um, secure your position and to make sure that if it's going in the right direction that you also um, um, will reduce your risk. And um, um, if it's going up, let's say more than 0.5%, um, my trailing stop order will be um, at my entry price level. So then I can't make any loss as long as there's no, no gap um, let's say over overnight gaps or only existing for forex at a weekend, but um, yeah, this is something what can also happen if you are invested uh, in a position over the weekend. So this is um, the basic facts for um, chart trading. You can also cancel all orders here, or what is um, also a smart way to um, let's cancel this trading stop order because there's another order I want to show you. Um, this is exit breakout, 1L, um, 1S means one limit, one um, stop order. And here you see, um, I can also change this um, stop order in a chart. And for example, as well as my target order, um, I always recommend to find a good ratio between risk and reward. Um, you should always uh, risk less than uh, what your um, what your performance will be. So and uh, I think it's also a pretty easy way to set this up in a, in a chart. So this is place the OCO. So trailing stop or OCO should be good for exit. Then cancel all, cancel active orders. Uh, I think this is, um, is clear so far. Reverse if you're like really a um, short-term um, intraday trader and you see the position um, is going against you, you can even reverse your position. We can try this because we are in a paper trading account now. Means um, I'm invested with um, uh, one mini lot long. And if I press reverse, this is use. Yeah, you see, um, it will make three actions at the end. And these three actions are, Cancelling all existing orders. Um, this is the first thing what will happen. The second thing, it will um, yeah, close my existing position. And the third thing um, is to yeah, open a position um, in the other direction. Means like now we are short invested. Um, and this is all with this um, button reverse. What makes it pretty simple if you really want to change your position. Um, yeah a bit faster than uh, do it manually. 
And all the information for your position, it's um, displayed after this. Um, so I see I have an open um, profit loss of $1, um, um, 0.01% in minus. Um, and if I change this to any of the other currencies, uh, currency pairs where we already invested, we should see exactly the same. And especially for positions like here, Euro USD, where you are, where we are a little bit more in profit, it's interesting. We have 2.8% uh, profit, um, and the uh, absolute value is uh, 970 um, euros. So this is chart trading. I mean, the rest uh, for chart, uh, it's um, also pretty simple. You can include even um, strategies or indicators. If you want to see some more technical analysis, you find a lot of indicators here. Everything as standard indicators should be already included. If there's anything what you need to see or what you are missing, uh, we can do this. Um, uh, or we can also implement um, individual indicators um, so let us know you i think you have our contact details um, otherwise we will also display this at the end of the um, webinar um, so feel free to contact us, uh, us if there's anything what you might miss or where you need our help to set it up yeah this is chart trading and matrix uh, it's another way to um, yeah handle your position to have a good overview about all the information. Let's make it a little bit bigger. If it's the format window. Yeah, if the uh, letters are on your screen not big enough, you can also change this um, in matrix so format. Window will give you the opportunity to change each and everything um, not only the size also some colors let's make it a little bit bigger yeah. okay there's no volume bars displayed for forex you will see this um, um, only for other asset classes but what is also important um, i think this is the um, general um, setup like you should find it also from the beginning um, the open p and l here the first column which we see is always um, should be set up in the base currency but you can also change the columns uh, what's pretty easy and some useful columns you can also add is um, simple currency account currency in percentage for me also very important to see a percentage of uh, profit what we earlier saw also in the chart trading um, yeah so we are already 3.3 percent in uh, profit and um, yeah the rest works um, pretty much the same what we had in chart trading you have uh, buttons on the right hand side for placing um, a market order for trading stop as well. Um, you have the same what we did for OCO orders. You can cancel reverse or close positions. Um, so there is almost um, the same um, buttons and settings what we found in a chart trading. So I don't think this is a, needs another explanation. But what is uh, quite smart in a, in a matrix is uh, if you put your order type to auto limit um, stop means um, you don't have to decide is it a limit order is it a stop order because if i want to place maybe another um, entry order for euro usd um, to a cheaper price than what it is at the moment um, you will see it will show me automatically a limit order but when i want to trade a breakout for example when i let's say i think it will break out above this uh, level of uh, one dollar and um, one eight four cent. Then I can just place it here, and the system will automatically um, decide if it's a stop or a limit order. So there's nothing for you to change. And it's the opposite um, if I want to sell because I want to sell um, to a better price. It's always a limit order. 
but when I want to say if it's falling down below 3% of profit, I can also place a stop order here. Um, so this is all um, pretty easy and simple. Um, just make sure that you don't put like more than one uh, exit order because this means at the end, if um, you have more than one exit order or you forgot to delete one, maybe then um, the second um, exit order can can be a new entry order. Um, and the system will uh, will allow to set up um, as many exit orders as you want. Um, so it's um, always on you to check um, if there's only one or if you set up more than um, one exit order. And it's the same way if you have it in the matrix, we can also change it later in a chart because everything is connected to each other. Um, it's the same if we go to the trader workstation, what we will do in, uh, in the next minutes, you will find of course all the orders which we set up here there as well. And you can change it um, in the trader workstation um, yeah, in the same in the same way what we did here in the trade station platform. Yeah, changing columns was the last thing and um, order set up, like I said, if uh, order is placed, we can also drag and drop um, orders in the same way like in the chart. Um, so this functionality works in all, in all ways the same. Um, just if you want to place some more complex, I don't want to say complicated, but more complex orders or order combination, um, you should have a look um, to the menu view and then there will be order bar. What we see on top should be also um, coming up after opening uh, the trade station platform in the beginning. So um, this is something what, uh, what you should see um, from the beginning. Um, and the order entry bar gives you some more possibilities um, for placing OCO or um, order sense orders. You can even custom customize your orders. So let's say, for example, we can make a yeah, let's make a practical um, example. Um, Pound USD. We also invested already. Then maybe we will stay on yeah, British pound, uh, Japanese yen, and let's decide what we want to do. Um, um, let's say we want to do a breakout order when it goes above um, 140 Japanese um, yen. We want to invest in the, in the market. So we can go to a custom um, order sense order. <clears throat> Here it's a bit different. We have to place, um, I include the symbol first and then um, buy 10,000. So you set up everything what is needed. Stop, let's say stop market. We say stop was 100. You can also change this later in the um, in the chart or in the matrix as well. And then we can attach um, a o OCO order. So what we did uh, manually in a, in a chart at the beginning, we can set up set this up all together. We can set up an entry order, and as soon as the entry order gets uh, gets filled. We will um, include um, OCO order as well with a limit. Let's say breakout uh, limit should be 140 and our stop 138. So these um, combinations of orders are, should be always placed um, in this um, order bar because in a chart or in a matrix, you will not uh, find this um, yeah, a little bit more complex orders. So um, just uh, make sure if um, you want to place uh, entry order with uh, exit order that you use the OCO or order sense order button here and um, with the customize function. Um, yeah, that should be everything possible. And then we can see our 
Um, entry order here, stop. This is uh, our stop buy order, stop sell order, and our sell limit order as a profit target. And then um, after it's set up, we can also change it here the same way what we did earlier. So this is, um, I think, pretty pretty easy, pretty simple. And uh, with the chart functionality of the TradeStation Global Platform, I think it will uh, help you a lot to improve your, your trading style, um, to get all the information um, you need to know with all the indicators which are also available. Um, there should be a, a big benefit for, for your trading style. Um, but just to make sure that you know everything about um, how to use the TradeStation platform and the benefits of it, I just want to show you something for radar screen because the same what we did in the chart, we can also set it up in, um, in a radar screen. We can include um, indicators. So if there's something what you are missing, let's say you want to have the ASI or we also have like some sort of um, alert functions um, what we programmed here. You just can implement this um, as an indicator in the radar screen. And then you can even um, sort the um, Forex pairs um, with the highest or lowest RSI. I can also set um, an alert for like many um, same currencies. Uh, for example, we had Euro, sorry, it was British Pound, USD, uh, yeah, Japanese Yen. So I have a very simple alert function where I say, okay, if this goes above 140, where I want to invest, I want to have an alert. And if it's going down 138, I want to see the same. And you can set this up for many different symbols. Um, you see the uh, the price where the alert will be set up. And um, then the alert itself, I think you will find also very useful uh, videos in our YouTube channel, um, how to um, set up an alert. Um, it should be available in almost every indicator. It doesn't matter if you include it in the chart anal analysis or on the radar screen. Um, so you have the possibility to yeah, use this in um, all um, different um, tools. So normally there are three ways, uh, like you can have a, like a tone. Um, if the price goes above 140, you can have a pop-up window and an email as well. And um, yeah, this should be selected uh, by the alert what you are, your your preferences are matching. For me, it's always like in a tone if I'm not in front of the computer, because then I know, okay, now it's going above the price where I want to invest. And um, I just place my my buy order manually, um, or if I'm in front of the computer but doing some other stuff, um, writing some emails in the pop-up window will also help you because the pop-up window will always come in front of the screen, even trade stations just running in the background. So these are really smart and easy ways to use um, some indicators to make your trading um, more efficient. So I guess these three tools for trading um, Forex, even other asset classes, uh, will help you a lot. What I normally recommend, especially if you are just trading a few currency pairs, I have normally a second um, um, chart analysis window open. So what you can do, you can just go to the trading apps and open another chart window on a different interval. So for British Pound, I want to see also the daily um, chart. Of course, you can also include chart rating here as well. So this will should work all fine. Just make sure that um, you link it in the same um, simple link what uh, all the other windows are linked. And we have here green local, local symbol link. What does it mean? Local symbol link is always only um, in um, in one workspace or on one desktop. If you want to have it linked over, let's say you use two or three screens and you want to have it linked um, with some um, other workspaces or desktops, you should always use the global 
um, linkage because, um, yeah, like I said, the local will only work in uh, in uh, one workspace. So I will save this workspace, um, and if you want to have it, I'm uh, happy to share it. Um, just feel free to send me a message, um, and uh, we will make, make sure that you receive this workspace and you can use it in the same way what we have here. Even this indicator is um, specially uh, programmed by us for the alert function, the radar screen. And there are many other um, indicators what we would also um, yeah, provide you for free as a trade station um, customer. And um, like I already told you in the beginning, if there's anything else what you miss or like some easy programs, uh, we should be able to uh, to do this for you as well. Yeah, this is um, so far everything from the trade station side. So we have some more time. I will include all the other currency pairs um, or the main currency pairs here as well, so that you have at least uh, 20 or 22 currency pairs included. Um, if I send you the workspace, it will help you to have this available. Um, and um, you should save, I mean, you can save the workspace in every folder where you wanna, um, where you wanna save it, but um, normally all the workspaces from trade station um, are saved under the following path. It's um, C program trade station 9.5. And then there's uh, one folder, my work. And here you can um, yeah, save the workspace if you get it from an external, uh, from an email or um, if you even um, set up your own workspace, they should be all here in this folder. Yeah, so far this um, are the basics for Forex trading the TradeStation platform. And now I want to present you some more information here on um, on the Trader Workstation. You see even the charting, it's not so nice, uh, but I know a few people might not um, might not work with the TradeStation platform. So we decided to also give you some details about the Trader Workstation. Um, if you go to a open li layout library, you will uh, have this selection of different um, uh, libraries, uh, layouts here. And there's one for Forex, um, what you also can on your own um, needs. You have here like three different charts, um, starting with two minute candles. We have uh, um, just a line chart for the uh, for today, and then daily candles um, similar to what we set up in the um, in the trade station platform. Economic news um, related, of course, to uh, um, to currencies. Um, also something what you can of course remove um, and you can even wait if we go to us uh, dollar japanese yen or you can um, search for different currencies and if there's any information on it like for the japanese yen and then um, yeah, basically for news or other researches, um, this economic events, so we, uh, as well as the news here below, um, will help you to dig deeper um, if you are really into news. There's, um, I think this um, is better to do it with the Trader Workstation. Um, if it comes more to charting and um, um, placing orders in chart analysis, I would always recommend the TradeStation platform. Um, I mean, you can easily see it. Um, we have here only 10, 20 indicators what we can include in the chart of the Trader Workstation. So this makes uh, much more sense to um, use the TradeStation platform. Um, just to show you what is available here, it's um, it's not the same, but you can also right click in the chart and then you will find Add Studies. There's a few studies already um, as a pre-selection. Okay, I'm wrong. It's maybe more than 25, um, but um, in TradeStation, you will have much more than this uh, indicators here. You will have also have strategies and you can, but this is the most important thing, also set up your own indicators, what is not very possible with the uh, Trader Workstation. Yeah, and what we did in the radar screen, what I think it's a better solution, uh, you can also do this here in the quote, not quote panel, in this um, 
yeah, order panel where we already have like nine different uh, currency pairs, your USD, USD Japanese Yen, um, and if there's something what you don't want to see here, because at the end you also see currency futures, the last three, you can just go here and change um, change to some currency pair what you what we might missed here. Mm, for example, Euro. Japanese yen. Yeah, then there's always coming the selection ideal pro or smart CFD. Um, so for Forex um, or currency trading, there's not only the currency pair at, um, uh, itself available, uh, you can also use CFDs, um, of course, and uh, futures, um, as it's included here, are also available. Um, for trading um but it doesn't matter um what you choose nothing is related to pattern day trading rule so you can do as many um trades as uh, possible i think from um the coast side um see if this is also always something what i would not recommend even um some people um, use it because the margin impact is a little bit less um but futures um, currency futures or the forex pair itself it's my personal preference um, to invest in currencies. So we will select Ideal Pro. And then we will place, wait, uh, we have a position for Euro USD already. Yeah. USD Swiss franc is um, literally here the same. And um, let's place an order here for too many lots because I just want to show you the margin impact because this is not um, um, purely or it's not like um, written like it should be in the, um, in the trade station so you see for too many lots it's a really um, small change in uh, in the margin you only need uh, 120 Eight when it's written correct here. So um, to check the margin impact, yeah, you should use this um, or select the trader workstation and then it will exactly show you how, um, what's your current merit margin, what will be the change and how much margin you will use after this trade. So um, yeah, this is something what you might not find in, um, in trade station, but I think normally um, if you know about leverage and uh, for Forex, it should be all pretty easy and simple for you to find out the uh, um, the correct margin, what you what you need to place an order, um, and otherwise you can always check your your account balance as well. So this was a basic uh, introduction to uh, Forex trading to TradeStation and um, Trader Workstation. As I said in the beginning, um, feel free to um, contact us if there's uh, anything what you might miss or any indicators or the workspace I presented, what we should send you via email. And um, if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming uh, videos, please subscribe here to our YouTube channel and um, check our playlists because there are many more um, good information how to use the trade station and trader workstation platform so thank you very much for your attention and have a great day bye bye